1971 Triumph Stag. Triumph engine, not a rover. It's a Triumph 3 litre V8 manual, this car. So it's the 3 litre V8 Triumph engine manual gearbox. So it's ticking all the boxes there for the guys and people that know that I like these cars. Right, body weight wise, we'll start off the bonnet. We're going to work our way from the top down over. Around the seam there is all okay. No real signs of corrosion across there. As you come down the bonnet, there's a few little sort of burn through marks where the car's been polished. Come down the right hand side, we've got a little bit of a ding here. As you come down, there's a few little bits and pieces in the paint where it sells, a few little burn throughs here, a few little stone chips on the front edge of the bonnet itself. Again, we've got like a burn through where the paint's quite light there, there, and there on the front of the bonnet. And a few more on the bonnet edges there, just where it's been polished. Down the passenger wing top again, a few more stone chips and some light scratching here and there in the paintwork, sort of spongy scratches as we call them, and a little bit of paint left in this seam here, which is pretty standard for a stag. As you come down the front end on the lights, put a little bit of pitting on the chrome work, a little bit of light pitting on the chrome work, but no big rusty holes where it needs plating or anything like that on both sides. All okay, nice and straight. Overriders are good as well. Grills all intact, no missing parts there. All the light lenses are nice and clear and crack free. We'll have a little look at that lower valance, see what we can see underneath there. See that there. Nice colour, this sort of a mid metallic blue with the silver cold fine stripes. Indicators are all right on this side, the reflectors there are all okay. As you come round the arch, nice and solid. No problems with the arch there, all nice and solid. The lip's good. If you put your hand beneath it, the lip's all nice. The sill's all nice and straight. Lovely and straight down both sides, this one. Wheels are all nice and tidy as well. They've obviously been refurbed at some point. Wing top's nice and straight. As we come along at the driver's door, all the chrome work is nice and fresh on the door itself. A little bit of pitting on the mirror and on the base of the mirror there. A few light scratches around the handle, pinstripe. It's nice in the silver, good colour combination. Good colour combination there. When I get my words out, but the door's all nice and straight. The door caps are lovely on this one. The shuts are absolutely lovely as well. All nice and straight across the rest of the door there. A little bit on the trim underneath the wind strip on the door. As you come down the corner, I've got a few little scratches here and there in the paintwork, and a little bit few around the uh, petrol cap. Onto the rear arch now again, lovely and solid. The sill section looks nice and tidy, nice and straight. As you come round the arch, there's a few little marks here and there, but no corrosion there, all lovely and straight on the arch itself. Again, wheels and tyres with a polished lift, all nice and tidy. As you come round the driver's rear quarter, a little bit of a scuff here on the bumper, and again, some light pitting in the bumper itself. This section here is lovely and shiny and bright. And again, you know, a good little polish, we'll get rid of some of that. Light lenses again are all nice and tidy on the back there. Onto the bootlet itself, nice and straight, no major dings or dents on the bootlet itself and across that rear scuttle, all nice and straight and tidy, nice and shiny as well. A little bit of a mark in the paintwork here on the boot. And again, some light surface scratches in the boot, a little bit of a crack there in the paintwork on the right hand side. So we work our way around onto the left hand side, rear quarter, again the bumper, nice and shiny, a little bit of light pitting, but all nice and tidy. And we're missing a decal there, or the reflector, I think it is, off that side. Yeah, the stag badge there, sort of faceplate, needs a new badge in there. As you come down that left hand rear quarter, lovely and straight again down this side. The sills are really nice on this, and so are the arches. Ready to be enjoyed, I would say this one, nice and tidy across there. Look at the sill sections there, lovely and straight, and see the door gaps are all lovely. And even nice and straight down the side there, no major dings or dents. Really nice and shiny as we work our way down the quarter. Across the top of the door again, lovely and straight, as is the bottom section. Again, sills are lovely on both sides, you can see that there as we work our way down. Nice and straight, all the gaps are good on the doors. As we come on to the passenger front wing, again I'll show you how straight it is down the side there. All nice and tidy down the bottom, really, really nice and straight. Across the arch there, no corrosion coming through. A little bit of crazing on the arch itself, a tiny amount there, but all in all, lovely and straight and tidy. Ready to be enjoyed, this one, I would say. The roof itself is all nice and straight, nice and taut, 
few little marks on it, but no major rips or tears. So the back section fitting nice. Little bit of stitching's come away here by the back window, but it's not actually the window itself. It's just the sort of lip there. Back window itself. It's got a little bit of light scratching on it, but it's not yellow. Work our way around the driver's side of the roof. Have a look at this side again. Nice and taut around the leading edge. A few little marks here and there. It's not brand new, but it's nice and usable. You'd have that down 90% of the time anyway. On to the interior now. It's just a nice, honest car, this one. Four car wants a, wants a good clean, but overall it's all okay there. Coming away a little bit at the bottom, but not bad at all. In the seat now, we've got a little bit of wear. You can see the piping has come away from the stitch in there. A little bit of a fray on the bottom. That's just on the leather piping there. The seat itself is a little bit soft, but no rips or tears in it on the middle of the swab or that far side there. We'll just quickly jump in the back, like most stags, back seats are lovely. Not much use at all in the life there. Inside of the roof itself is all nice and tidy, but we'll get that put down in a minute, so we'll have a look with it down. Top set's good. Dash top's all nice and tidy. The wood's really good across the dash top. No cracking in the wood. Down the centre console, all nice and straight. I know that looks like an automatic shifter, but it is definitely manual, this one. The rest of the dashboard, all the dials are crack free nice and clear no problems at all easy to read there we've got a Mancini after market steering wheel on there with a little bit of wear at the corner on the wood sorry you've got a what a Mancini Mancini Mountainy Mancini <laughs> after model wheel anyway a little bit of wear to the back of the boot carpet there probably want a new boot carpet if you're being really picky we'll try and lift the other all screwed down in there I say once a little bit of a boot carpet at the back where it's gone a bit light Onto the passenger front door card. Again, the door card wants a bit of a clean. Like the speaker covers want a little bit of a touch in. But all in all, nice and usable in there. Passenger seat itself, no rips or tears in that. The leather looks okay. A little bit of sagging on the corners, but no rips or tears there on the passenger side. Onto the passenger rear again. The bench is all nice and tidy, nice and clean and straight in there. As we go into the engine bay now, James is just putting the roof up for us there. Got your roof down. We'll go into the engine bay and then we'll come back around and have a look there. Obviously it's a manual roof on there, so that's not too bad at all. In the engine bay, all nice and presentable in there. See, it's a Triumph twin car V8, not a Rover engine. All nice and straight, that airbox is all nice and tidy. No problems at all with that in there. On the on the button, this mechanically, I'll get James to start it up. And fire straight up. No issues there at all. Cold start up once a little bit of Sounds lovely that. Ticking over lovely and happy there with no issues at all. No unwanted noises, no smokes, no rattles from that there at all. Right, so we'll go back to the roof. Now all nice and tidy, we'll have a look across this deck lid, that's all okay in there. That's what I wanted to have a look at, so I wanted to have a look at the deck lid there. The roof itself, all nice and free. I think the back bit there, once that, you can see, once that clip there, button back on, that's just come out of there. We'll screw that back in, must have been loose. There you have it, taking over lovely there. The 1971. Triumph Stag in blue V8 convertible manual with a Triumph engine there. 